They said, stop tying your shoe, there's a game to play. We have had a soccer tournament all weekend. Today is the last day of the soccer tournament. I didn't vlog yesterday, but soccer tournaments are always fun. Luckily, the soccer tournament is local, so we don't have to go too far. We had four soccer games yesterday, and then we have up to four soccer games today. Technically, Caden's team and Landon's team are the ones that were entered in this tournament, but some of the people from Caden's team weren't able to make it. There's someone who was sick, and so they asked Tyson to sub for some of the kids on his team, so all of them ended up playing, which is really fun. I love watching it. But it calls for some really early mornings, so we are almost to the field right now we just got breakfast on the way and the difference about this weekend versus other like soccer tournament weekends is that it is literally freezing outside I mean quite literally like I think it's like actually okay I guess it's 40 degrees but no it's so bad out there it's raining and it's windy yesterday I almost like didn't make it through the day like I was about to pass away it was so cold today's supposed to be worse today's supposed to be windy and cold and rainy so these kids are troopers like I'm being a baby on the sidelines and I'm not even the one that's playing in it and it's so early we actually have an earlier day today than we did yesterday. It's not raining right now, but it's going to be. And it was. See, it's all wet. Anyway, they've been doing so good. Actually, both of their teams, as of right now, are in first place for their, like, league. No, that's the right word. <laughs> Too early to think. Division. There you go. So they're doing really well. They actually each have one more game to play. Depending on how that game goes, then they'll go to finals and they could potentially win the tournament. So, really fun weekend, even though it's freezing. The bummer about this weekend, the one thing that's really sucked is that all of their games, like Kyson and Caden's game and then Landon's game, all of their games have overlapped which doesn't happen super often but they're literally at the same time so I'm either missing one yesterday I was running back and forth between the two games that's what I'm gonna be doing again this morning is running back and forth between the two games to just like catch bits and pieces of them so that is the downside but it's kind of fun it's an adventure this jacket by the way you guys was the best purchase I think I've ever made it is like the best jacket ever I don't even know where I got it from honestly I'll try to find it and link it if it wasn't for this jacket I wouldn't have made it through this weekend but it's like one of those like it's like not super thick but it's so warm like nothing gets through it it changes the game okay so boys all right we've got the poppy this morning <laughs> Boys, are you ready to rumble? They've got their under clothes on. Okay, right, one, two, three. The girls are gonna stay in the car with Chris for a second. Well, I go run and drop them off because we're not gonna come sit in the cold until the games actually start. They have to be here 45 minutes early to start warming up, so. It's so cold. I know, I know, I know. So I'm gonna go drop them where they need to go. Yay! Mimi had extra gloves. Lena it's forgot Tyson's his. favorite color. It is. He, oh, are you switching? <laughs> That's so cute. This is Kyson's favorite color. Oh no, Landon, your backpack is breaking. These things are the best backpacks ever. They're soccer backpacks. Landon, your gloves are in here, dude. What? <laughs> Not only that, you have two pairs of gloves in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, he thought he forgot his gloves. Oh my gosh, what happened? We put his hat in his backpack. Something fuzzy might be in there because it was not like that yesterday. Oh no. Oh, I don't have a lint roller. Ugh, we're a mess. All right, let's go to the field. Are you ready to kick butt today, dude? I mean, if I don't win this, then I'm out of the tournament. Yeah, I guess it depends on this. We'll see. This team is one of the best in California. The one you're about to play? Mm -hmm. Well, that's scary. Scary feet, scary feet. The way that the tournament is set up is, well, they're all, they all work a little bit differently, so I don't actually know exactly how but it's do you know how it is this one what? is it a point system no if we lose this then we're out of the final yeah i don't understand it some of them are like a point system some of them it's like a knockout system i don't really know so whatever your coach says probably right actually scratch that it's definitely right <laughs> i'm not all right i love you good luck and now we wait. It's like a rush, 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 and then a pause, but I'm gonna defrost for it, yes. Mommy, literally all of these are locked. All the games? I have a really fun game, actually. I'm gonna play it. Do you wanna download it? It's called yeah. Skip Bow. We're gonna defrost. Where's my phone? We're gonna defrost in here for a few minutes before we pull everything out. We could play together. We could play together. We could play at the same time. Heck yeah. Okay, I'll download it for you, Addy. This is a really good game. It's basically like. I want to put my headphones on. Oh, oh, you have headphones. Oh my gosh, this is cool. It's a vibe. Okay. 
Okay, this game though, it's from the makers of Uno. You play Uno with me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's really good, high quality, fun game. Okay. And basically the players, they use like strategy. You know what that word is? Um. It's like where you- together? Ki exactly, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like where you plan- Plan to work together? To create stacks of- Stacks of cards. Stacks of cards, exactly. And you look at the cards and you put one- You number them. Yeah. Yeah, you number them sequentially. So it's like one, two, three. I know what you mean. But it has an online version. You don't need internet, which works out because she doesn't have internet on this thing. If we're camping, like you can access it. You don't need internet at all. You can play it on the plane. I actually downloaded it onto the boys' phones for like plane rides and stuff. But it's an online mobile version of this really fun game called Skippo. It's a classic family card game. It does need some skill. You know, you have to be able to count, but Addy can even play it. It has more of like a relaxation effect to it. I think it'll help me activate my brain on this lovely early morning. <laughs> As well okay it's so cold outside and now I'm hot in here from running it seems like nowadays a lot of games are a little bit too competitive for me I guess I'm somewhat competitive but like this game is not one of those super competitive games so it doesn't usually end in tears compared to some other games this game is just like a happy joyful game what are you doing Chris, you have it, right? Yeah, I have you it. You played it, played it with me? Where are you at? Where are you at? Hiding. <laughs> Hiding in the back. Yes, I have. <laughs> it's so blurry. But it's more than just a card game, too. They also have, like, different themes from time to time, like, throughout the year. It's just a really delightful game. <laughs> I would definitely recommend downloading it. I actually used to play Skippo many, many, many years ago. A long, long time ago. So it brings me back to the old days, for sure. It's more of, like, a comfort game for me. I have much charging, so don't unplug. So the game, I'll show you like right here. Skippo is traditionally a card game, so now it's just, you know, a mobile version of a card game. It's kind of similar to Solitaire in a way, but the object of the game is to get rid of your cards and then you win. while blocking other players from discarding their cards. But the point of the game is to put every card like in your pile in numerical order. They have different Skippo cards, which are basically like wild cards. And then the first person to play every card in their pile is the winner. So very simple, very straightforward, very fun. I love like the themes that it has throughout the different parts of the year. So anyway, I would definitely recommend it. You can find it in the app store or the google play store i'll have a link down in my description if you guys want to download it so we have like 10 more minutes of defrosting play this game for a little bit and then we'll probably landon's game starts five minutes earlier than the other kids games so maybe we'll head over to landon's first and then just run back and forth between the two okay. sound good yeah. all right <laughs> i want to be you right now Stole my umbrella. <laughs> so this is how it's going. Okay, we caught the beginning of Landon's game. Now we're running over to the twins game. I don't know what the score is over there. I'm gonna have to find someone and ask them. Landon so far is losing two to one. So we'll see. <laughs> it's worse than I thought out here. And I already thought it was pretty bad. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> God, Kaisen made a goal, but they called offside. So do it again, Kaisen. Thank you. Come on, Kaisen. There you go, Kaisen, 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 Kaisen. I'm running back to the twins game. The twins were winning when I left. Ran back to Landon's. He just lost his game, so that's okay. Running back over to the twins game. The twins were up 1-0 when I left, so we'll go see where they're at now. Occasionally when we're winning a game, they'll let him have some field time. And he's actually doing pretty good out there. Pressure, guys, and pressure. Two goals? Good job! I just scored two goals and they just called it off. I 
me the score. score I know, they yeah. Were they were not. Oh. They, were, they were not assigned. Well, that is a wrap. So, obviously, Kaisen and Kaden's team, they won. They are going to the finals for the tournament today. That's so fun for them. And it's crazy because typically you play a certain position, um, you know, like almost every game. Kaisen is a striker, which means he's front and center. He, like, typically is one that scores goals. And Kaden is a goalie, but he's an incredible goalie. Like, he's honestly, there's talk of him getting, like, picked up for colleges. Like, he's really, really good. The thing is, is that all of a sudden he's had a change of heart these last few months and he really wants to play on the field. So we have some, you know, readjusting. My jacket is stuck. Can you help me? It's stuck. It's, I've been trying to unzip it since, thank you. I just can't see it so I can't do anything. So right now they kind of have it worked out to where if they're doing really good in a game, like if they're winning, then his coach, he's such, such amazing coaches, but his coach will let him play on the field for a little bit, just, you know, get a little field time. It's fun for him. So um, that's what happened today. They let him play on the field and he ended up scoring two of the three goals for the game. So he was so excited. He even played striker for some of it. So that is why he's so excited is because normally he doesn't get the opportunity to score goals because he's the one blocking them and he does a very good job of blocking them so good so that is so exciting for him anyway we're moving on to the finals he'll probably be put back into the goal because like i said he is so good it's not that he hates it it's just like i think he feels kind of left out of the game sometimes even though he plays one of the most important roles on the team you know if there's no action down there it's only human to be like i want to be part of that action so that's why it's kind of like a big deal that he scored goals is because normally he's not in that position to be able to do that anyway we are now in defrost mode we have another hour and a half before they have to be at the finals game so we are going to defrost make some lunch probably and then head back over to the next game oh you got melody melody came and watched the game huh which by the way melody's hair i definitely would love some tips here because her hair has started to fall out in the back and get kind of knotted here. And I try to brush it, but you're supposed to be very gentle with, um, she's technically like a reborn baby. That's what they're called. And you know, she feels real. She's like a five or six pound baby. She feels real when you hold her. Anyway, so she's not just like your typical doll, but these hair pieces are like individually threaded into her head, I think if I understand it right. But the back of it has started to get knotted. So I know there's like a whole community of people who, have these give me your tip please she is just so loved and like the front of it looks fine but it's just like the back of it see this brush isn't really gonna do much for that we can gently wash it but it's just like it's kind of like a real newborn baby you know how like newborns when you have a baby the back of their head starts see oh, yeah, and she also starts balding on the back of oh yeah it's she's literally like a real baby so i guess it makes her a little bit more real it's, it doesn't really actually look real because she has these like yeah. under her arms and under her legs. Right. Her back. But watch, pick her up. And you can see like she is weighted like a real baby. Like you have to hold her head and yeah. And if you don't hold your head and you just hold her body. She flops. She flops. Yeah. So Addie is very careful with her. She takes very good care of her. And these are all Melody's toys. Aww. Melody's, Melody's pinky is upstairs. The way for sad mothers to cope. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that actually like makes so much sense though. Yeah. And I've also heard it's good for older people who, um, is it dementia? Kind of helps people with that or like anxiety. Um, it's like a whole thing. She also wears real newborn size clothing. <laughs> so. And I brought her blanket. You know that was your blanket when you were a little girl? I have pictures of you in that blanket. Yep, it's your special blanket, I do. I know all of my siblings designated blankets. Yep. Hello, guys. So, uh, Mowgli, Sadie, no. They're fighting. Mowgli and Sadie. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is all the stuff I packed Melody. So I packed her little toy, and I packed Melody in, in her outfit, and her little toy, and her cute little outfit, and her Valentine's outfit with a pink bow, and. Her unicorn jammies with flower hearts and a black bow. And she has her cute little blanket. I had this when I was a baby. That was my blanket for hers. This is her fake milk. If you tip it upside down, it actually goes down. And if you tip it back up, all the milk goes back up. And I have her other milk. This is her orange juice. Same with this one, the milk. And also, if you keep it, tipped over, it'll just stay tipped. So yeah, this is her brush, and actually brushes her, it actually brushes her, brushes her hair. And this is her toy, and this is her other toy, and this is her other toy, and then and this is her um, bag that they packed her stuff in. And yeah.
We're on to the final game of the day. I am literally so scared that I'm going to not survive this. Like I honestly think that I'm going to pass away out there. It is so cold, I'm scared. And I forgot my blanket. <sighs> All right, you guys, the boys are already over there warming up. I'm defrosting and warming up in the car, and here we go. Not our parent, right? Not our parent? Oh my God, they are just soaked out there. The people were person, the parents were so wonderful. Did you hear the parents screaming? I know, like, hey, Rob! <laughs> this, this is not a game. This is not a game. When <laughs> Ivan was tying his shoe, oh they said, stop tying your shoe. There's a game to play. God, they were like I know. verbally okay. abusive. The parents on the other I, I, team, there was this parent, which, you know, there's always like parents. That, that are a little loud, but this one was literally verbally abusing the rest. Like it was bad. That was quite the game. It was worth being out in that rain though. It was such a good game. What was the final score? 4-1. 4-1. And that parent was verbally abusing. Like I, I've heard crazy parents again and again and again and again. Like there's always those parents who are just loud, whatever. This one was literally bullying the rest. Like she was almost on the field screaming at the kids, screaming at the kids, screaming at our kids, screaming at the refs, screaming at the coaches, like, it was bad. I don't know if I've ever seen a parent that bad. I know, that parent was the worst parent I could ever It was remember. just, and I mean, I do not contribute. I just stay silent. I, I my thoughts to myself. Like, this is a 10-year-old soccer game. <laughs> and she said, hey, the kids don't control the game, but their kids were actually controlling the game. And their, these, their kids were literally shoving our kids down, like, hurting them. So, if I mean, I did, they would go flying. Yeah, that's you, why I don't show them. That's, yeah, that's yeah. probably Kaisen, good. That's, that's good that you don't. You want to be aggressive, but you don't want to be abusive. And this lady was, was just screaming. Like, I'm so surprised that they didn't. Usually, if there's parents on the field yeah. that are crazy, like making, like screaming at yeah. the refs, normally the refs will card the coach. They'll give the coach a yellow card. Why didn't they give the You know why, though? Someone was saying because it's a tournament and it was the last game, like, it wouldn't matter. There's no penalties if they did it. Right. So, you know, they did yellow no, card the coach. Be, it no, if it anything. was a tie, they would Because usually, if you yellow card, the coach, then they can't coach the next game. Or something. I, I don't know if you red card the coach. I don't really know, but that's just what someone was saying. They were saying because it was the last game in the tournament. I don't know. I don't know how those refs. And there's tons of crazy parents. Like, but I'm so proud of you. And it's not even like it was a close game, mind you. Like it was, we were smearing them. So even if the ref was making bad calls, which people were saying that they weren't making bad calls, other people were saying that the ref was making the right call. So it was just this one person that kept it, like the, the screaming at the ref. Mom. So. Anyway, yeah, that was brutal, but I'm so proud of you guys. You guys did so good. Won all four of your games this weekend. We've got the winners. Okay, boys, let's see those medals. Woo! Ow, ow, ow! You guys did so good, but you do smell a little bit, you know, like a wet dog. <laughs> I'm gonna have you guys take some showers. I'm gonna figure out dinner. All right, on the menu tonight, Chris, woo! Chris made some bomb, like, broccoli Alfredo pasta thing. This recipe we found on Pinterest, and then these potatoes he made them the other day. He recreated them today. So good. Addie begged us to make brownies earlier, which I I hate when she does that because they're way too good. They're so good. Like her and Lilia usually will partner up and then I eat them. And that's what I hate. I don't like eating them. <laughs> we got this right here for after. And these, do we have the boxes of that still? I need to share this information. There is one brand of brownies that are superior than any other on this planet. Oh, did she just make the last box? I have to share it. I have to share it. Oh, wait here. No. I just feel like the world needs to hear this. Did she make the last boxes? It should be at the top of the trash. Oh, I was gonna say, what are the chances of the trash was, trash was taken out? Yes. Okay, Betty Crocker fudge. Thank me later. If you want brownies, those are the brand. I'm so serious. Like, there's no brand that's as good as that. 
like hands down, best ever. So the unthinkable happened. Landon is asleep. If you know Landon, Landon is always the last child. Or Addie though, debatable. But he is very hard to get to go to sleep. This is how you know he's had a long day. Long weekend, right? It is a little on the early side, but he had such a long weekend. I think I'm just gonna transfer him right to his bed. It's a love story. She was like not just dancing, she was like full acting. But everyone's in bed now. We've got school tomorrow. It's been a really long weekend. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.